Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today we're going to be comparing Zero versus Wave. Which accounting software is better for you in your small business? Again, Wave and Zero, which is the better platform for you? We're going to be comparing both pricing, pros and cons, and really which is the best solution depending on your specific needs within your small business, whether you're an accountant or even just a small business owner looking to do or DIY your own accounting in your small small business. So that's what we're breaking down here in today's video. Again, comparing zero versus wave and which is best for you. Again, if you do want to check out either of the companies mentioned, whether it be wave or zero, there will be links linked down below in the video description box. Again, at the top of the video description box, that's brennavaleski.com forward slash zero. If you want to check out zero or brennavaleski.com forward slash wave, if you want to check out wave again, some of which are affiliate links, which is a great way to help out and support the channel. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the comparison video of again, wave and zero. So I'm going to be taking a look at each of them overall as a which platform is best for certain scenarios, as well as the pricing and which each of them come with. I will say generally as a quick overview of each of these softwares, zero is really built and designed primarily for accountants themselves, right? The software is really focused around making things very accountant friendly. It's not necessarily as easy to understand, maybe from someone of the perspective of a small business owner or someone looking to sort of DIY their own accounting. Wave, on the other hand, compared to Zero, Wave is a lot more small business friendly in terms of making things a lot easier if you are going to be doing your own accounting. So if you are an accountant and you come maybe from a CPA background, you're looking for a new software to use, Zero might be the better option for you in that scenario. It also, they do also make it really easy to mul uh, manage multiple different types of clients and things like that on the client service side of things. Again, for the whole accountants and bookkeeper side of things, you can still also use them as a small business owner. I'm not saying that, that you can't use them as a small business owner it does just have a, maybe a little bit more of a learning curve compared to wave where it is a lot easier for small business owners to pop in and bada boom, bada bing, get your income and expense and your net income statements uh, so much easier in my personal opinion from using both of the different softwares and testing them. Uh, Wave on the other hand as well, be beyond just being a lot more beginner friendly in terms of the pricing and getting started is that they do actually have a completely free version as well. Now again, this is accurate as of the making of today's video. Be sure to check out each of these companies pricing pages to get the most realistic and up-to-date pricing. Each of them may have certain special limited time offers that you may be seeing at the time of when you're watching this video, when you check out those links in the description, and when you're actually visiting these companies' websites. Again, it's all just accurate as the making of today's video. Uh, but by and large, it so it would seem that Wave does want to continue to offer a free plan uh, that they do offer is a free starter plan. Now, again, that might be a selling point for you just if you don't want to spend any money at all on your software. Uh, you do have to spend money on zero if you are planning on using zero. Now, you can try them for free as they do have a free trial. Uh, so you can test each of them out without spending any money at all. Uh, if you do want to get your hands uh, dirty and, and, and play around with each of them, maybe connecting your company I get that that's a bit of work and maybe that's why you're watching this video to help determine uh, before you go ahead and go through all the hoops of signing up for either of them because I get that that can be a little bit of a hassle. Uh, so zero and wave, you can, again, you can try each of them for free. If you do want to try them out again, links below in the description, but wave does has, have a completely free version, which is very nice. However, their free version now only lets you add in those records manually. Uh, if you do want to automatically, uh, track your, uh, income and things like that and auto import those bank transactions. Uh, it does cost money again on their pro level plan, which currently, again, this is likely to change. Uh, they do have a monthly and annual version to save money. Uh, so they do have a pro plan and that's honestly fairly comparable uh, to the regular pricing of Zero's early plan. Uh, so that's something worth considering there, you know, $15, $16. Again, when you're watching this, those numbers may be different, but in general, their pro plan uh, on Wave is fairly comparable to the pricing of Zero's early plan. Uh, I get that maybe a lot of you guys watching this video might be fairly sensitive to the pricing and is a very big point of consideration. Now, the other aspect of Zero is that, you know, you can, uh, on their early plan, you can pretty much do all the same types of things that you would expect on the pro plan. 
uh, with Wave in terms of like auto importing those bank transactions and auto merging or categorizing those transactions. Uh, those are the types of things that you would uh, fine within the wave pro plan as well as the zero uh, early plan the zero grow plan and you know going beyond into the established plan is more for advanced businesses uh, in terms of what you might need to be doing within their software uh, however i will say that by and large you do get a lot more in the pro plan uh, with wave uh, as far as just having everything that the software has to offer within their pro plan whereas zero sort of price gates that up to their 78 dollar uh uh plan which is a bit more expensive um quite a bit more expensive and that's why a lot of people do uh have been going with wave as well i mean i mean i mentioned them a lot, a lot on the channel they are a newer software so they are fairly competitive uh, again it just depends on what you like in terms of uh, the features again zero is a bit more focused around pure pure accountant accountancy and more analytics data in terms of what accountants might find important wave is more built around small business owners and what small business owners might find important uh, that's a very clear distinction there honestly in my opinion between what each of them actually have to offer uh, in terms of their plans, uh, you do just, you know, you are sort of gated a little bit in terms of bulk reconciling transactions uh, until you get to the higher level plans. Uh, just things like that, if you're going to be doing things um, in, in bulk or in large quantities, uh, again, that's just something worth considering. If you don't have that many transactions, honestly, even just the free version of Wave uh, would be fine just doing things manually. Uh, so that's another distinction there. Uh, you can also accept online payments as well as doing invoicing uh, and cash flow and customers from a dashboard. Those are the same types of things that you would expect uh, from zero as well, uh, no matter really what plan uh, that you're going with on either of uh, the softwares. Now, another thing to consider within each of the softwares, again, Wave and Zero, as well as well, you know, what do you find important, okay? If this is the sort of dashboard that you want, you just want your income and your expenses uh, and the ability to also do, you know, invoicing. Uh, they also have mobile receipts, so you can do that as well as payments, uh, accounting. I know we're focusing primarily on accounting within this video here today, uh, but Wave does also offer payroll as sort of like an add-on. Uh, it does cost additional money as well, um, depending, and it is only limited to certain states as well. Uh, that is something worth considering in terms of, you know, filing if you're if that's how your business structure is set up. Uh, that is something worth considering. Whereas zero uh, for their payroll side of things, they opt to just partner um, with Gusto, which is a bit more of a robust platform in terms of, you know all of the experience that that gusto has and it does have that direct integration within zero uh, whereas wave is a little bit more limited in the payroll department as they are sort of doing it themselves uh, and it's not offered through a third-party company and so you only have certain states that it currently services within at least tax service states if you can still do the self-service uh, but again that's only uh, in those states as well. So it, it, that's more dependent on the business and how your business structure is set up. If you are going to be doing payroll, that is just another thing worth considering. Uh, maybe if you're determining that might be an important factor as well when you're determining between zero uh, and wave as well is sort of that payroll side of things. Now, in addition to that, in terms of their overall accounting and what Wave has to offer, again, like I said, you have your cash flow statements. It's very easy to understand. You can automatically import things, see invoices. You know, these are honestly a lot of the same types of things and features that you're going to see within Zero in terms of what you would expect uh, within the Zero platform and within their features. Again, you have the ability to pay bills, claim the expenses, see your total like profit and loss reports. Uh, as well as your, you know, bank reconciliations and things. You know, honestly, a lot of the same types of general reporting. It's just going to be a little bit more expensive uh, within Zero versus what it would be within Wave. Again, Wave is a newer company. 
Uh, so they're trying to be competitive in the marketplace, and I get it. And uh, honestly, I do recommend them a lot on a lot of my different videos. Again, when it comes to free accounting software, as well as just really high quality accounting software for a cheap price and something that's just easy to understand for a lot of people. I'm not really particularly biased uh, towards either company. Honestly, each of them sort of have their own niches and uh, sort of crowds that they cater to. Again, Zero just is more catered to the true CPA professional accountancy side of things. Maybe if you are a larger scale business, it might make a lot more sense for you to go with a company or a platform such as Zero compared to Wave, which is a little bit more built around smaller businesses, maybe those one person businesses. Uh, if you're going to be doing it yourself, doing your own accounting can be a little bit easier to understand within Wave. Again, if maybe you're just doing single entry accounting versus doing double entry accounting, which is really what Zero is built around and focused on. Again, just the quick uh, difference between those two is uh, single entry is essentially, uh, you can still do double entry as well within Wave, not saying you can't, um, but Wave does allow you to do either one uh, and still generate those reports, uh, whereas Zero is really focused around double entry. Again, single entry is basically just putting in your income and your expenses, and you're not taking into account the whole uh, tracking your overall uh, checking account or savings account. You're not looking at your total um, um, bank account statements within there. You're not using that on the accounting side of things. You're just doing it single entry. You know, double entry, you do get a bit more insight into your overall balance sheet. So, you can still get a balance sheet as well with Wave, but if you're only doing single entry, you're, you wouldn't essentially have really a balance sheet. Um, so that's something to consider there just as to which accounting um, method you plan on using. Again, you could do either one with Wave. You're really more limited to double entry accounting and having a bit more accounting experience in order to use a platform like Xero, whereas Wave is a little bit more beginner friendly. Uh, you don't necessarily have to uh, do the more advanced methods of accounting, such as double entry. Uh, with balance sheets, you can really just keep it very simple within single entry accounting uh, and really just keeping it more or less as a more advanced spreadsheet that automatically tracks your cash flow. Uh, as you can see here, your inflow, your outflow. So when it comes to tax time, boom, uh, you, your books are organized. The other nice thing as well within Wave is they don't actually charge you an additional fee to have multiple different businesses within Wave, which is really nice. Now, Zero does still make it easy to switch between um, business accounts as well within Zero, uh, So that is honestly a nice pro to each of the, the different companies um, is that they both do allow you to switch between uh, different businesses. So if you are managing multiple businesses, you can add both of those uh, within Wave or within Zero as well. You can manage multiple different businesses under one account within Zero and within Wave. So figured I would also add that little tidbit in there because I know a lot of you guys may be managing multiple different businesses or maybe if you're in real estate, you're, you treat each property as like a different business. And so you'd want to be able to delineate the accounting of those different properties easily uh, within a, com a, a platform like Z uh, Wave or with Zero, So you can do that in either one uh, as well. So again, personally, what I, I honestly personally prefer Wave a little bit more, um, but Zero, if you have a really strong accounting background uh, and you are may maybe managing multiple different accounting clients or something like that, you know, or if you, again, come from a strong accounting background, maybe you are a CPA, Zero might be a little bit more advanced and give you a little bit more of those advanced accounting um, features and reports and spread and sheets ultimately within their platform than the you know reports that you can generate within Wave. Wave is maybe a little bit more limited in terms of the reports that you can generate. Uh, but again, it just depends on what your needs are. If you're more basic beginner uh, and you don't really care about all the super detailed accounting reports, Wave might be the better option for you. If you do want those more detailed accounting reports, Zero is really the better platform for that. So hopefully you guys found this comparison video helpful. Again, comparing Zero versus Wave, which is the better accounting software for you. Again, it depends on your business and your level of experience as we just mentioned. Again, if you do want to check out either of these companies mentioned here in today's video, whether it be Wave or Zero, you can go ahead and check out those first links down below in the description box. That's brandvaleski.com forward slash Zero. Uh, that's Zero with an X or brandvaleski.com forward slash Wave. Both of those will be linked at the top of the video description. Again, some of which are affiliate links, which is a great way to help out support the channel. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that was all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.